This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational videos brought to you by Topayo Vets. Today is 5 of November 2020. This is a 2 years old female guinea pig. Okay, now the owner came in to, to, to complain that this guinea pig gives some sounds, huh? some sounds as if she has a sore throat or she has caught cold. Because according to the lady owner, yesterday was quite cold and she heard this sound after midnight more distinctly. Now so as far as eating and drinking, she says that this guinea pig is eating less than normal and as far as passing stools, because these are the two indicators of health of guinea pig. As far as passing stools, she says that she doesn't know because this guinea pig stays with the male. The male guinea pig, so they stay together, so she doesn't know whether this guinea pig had passed stools or not. Now, the stool pellets will show us whether the guinea pig is healthy or not. Okay, now we just observe this observation. You see, there seems to be some sound. You can hear that sound, yeah? Grinding sound, actually. Now we can hear the grinding sound. You see the teeth are grinding, actually. But actually, but the more important is the sound on the chairs, huh? So I will first of all weigh the guinea pig first, the take the temperature first. So that is, I put in the center of the weighing machine. Now we take 100. So if it varies from 780 to, to uh, 800, okay. So now you take a temperature. And uh, take a temperature, we put it upside down. It, it should be less than 39. And if it's less than 39, there is no fever. So we see what's the temperature. Now you can hear the guinea pig having this sound. And this is not normal. Normally they don't have sounds. So okay, take the temperature. And uh, of course you need some time to take the temperature. And uh, it, it should be... How many? 38.7. Okay. So that, that should be okay now. Now I'll do the physical examination now. Now the physical examination we observe okay, whether it's active or not. So it's still quite it's still quite active, it's not lethargic. Not too lethargic. Okay, so now I go through quick the uh, touch light and uh, check with the eyes first. Any eye discharge? No. I see some congestion of the conjunctiva look here any eye discharge no no discharge no okay then I'll have a quick look in the mouth the best is to have a faucet okay have a quick look ready open now check the the tongue what color pink color is okay oh overall it looks alright the mouth the eyes and and the nose so now I will just do a quick palpation. Oh, here is a pain. See? And here. So, I don't press now, I press the ribcage. So the pain is definitely on both sides. Okay. So I have a quick os oscillation, seven scope. You can hear the cries, yeah. The heart rate is very fast. Now whether they are lung sounds or not. So you have different shape between the lung sounds and the cries. Huh? There's some lung sounds but could be due to the fast breathing sounds. The guinea pig is very un uncomfortable when I press against the chest. Huh? So that one is more or less you can come to a, a diagnosis of traumatic injury to the chest. Now, so now I go to the abdomen and I check for pregnancy, huh? whether she's pregnant or not. So I have a quick palpation. With thumb and four fingers. 
Of course, she could be early pregnancy, but she's not very happy with it. So. Now you can feel for thicker, thicker lumps, huh? the small fetus, but I don't feel anything. But there's still some pain as well. Yeah. Okay, now we turn upside down. Have a quick look. Any injuries or not? No, this one is really not as if she had given birth before. Huh? These are the, the nipples. And have a quick look here. Any vagina discharge? No. Nope. There's some redness there. Hmm. There's some some inflammation. Other than that, it's okay. Now the stool is here. This stool is shows that she still is having a normal stool, no diarrhea. Okay, so that, that is the stool. So overall, the possible diagnosis is based on the signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms is actually pain. Huh? Pain in the chest area and also a bit in the abdominal area. So there's a male guinea pig that is about one kg bigger than this female. According to the owner, the female likes to climb over the male, mounting the male. But but in this case, I suspect the male must have mounted on the female and uh, accidentally injured the chest and abdomen. And uh, we were sent for an X-ray. X-ray is, is more to see whether there is pneumonia or not on, on fluid, fluid in the lungs and the abdomen. Other than that, we will put it here for about two days and see whether they can collect urine to check for kidney, kidney infections. Uh, for guinea pigs, we seldom take blood tests for the checking of the blood values because the amount is too, too little. So basically we are based on the history and the observation of eating the food, the stools and the urine when we uh, what, what it in for two days. So that is the, the end of the examination. The cloudy areas in the left lung suggested fluid, likely to be blood caused by the traumatic injury. The guinea pig was vocalizing loudly. She reacted to pain when the sides of a rib cage were palpated. The male guinea pig was around 1 kg, while she was around 800 grams. Both stayed together. The sudden onset harsh respiratory sounds, teeth grinding noises, were due to great pain to the chest area, likely caused by the male guinea pig or during play. For more information, please visit our website or call in to our clinic. For more videos, Please give this a video a like and subscribe to us.